Western anatomy is what you get when you cut open a cadaver, right? You cut open a cadaver and where the nerves are and the blood vessels and the muscles and the bones and you kind of see it, right, as an observer. Mm -hmm. That's not Ayurvedic anatomy. Ayurvedic anatomy, of course, acknowledges the truth of Western anatomy, but there's another anatomy that's also just as true, which is this. When I was an Ayurvedic student, I used to um, uh, contemplate every day for maybe 20 or 30 minutes how each part of my body um, felt. And I went through like cubic centimeter by cubic centimeter in my brain, right through my head, through my skull, and like, what do I feel there? What's my experience of being alive there? What's my experience of being alive there? And each particular one. And if I were to like describe that, I would be giving you a map of how I feel. And that map is just as true. Now, that map may, um, you know, be psychosomatic. It may be uh, be reflective of functional um, disorders or, um, um, or idiosyncrasies. But nevertheless, it's the truth that I've felt those things. And so, um, and so now we have to interpret them. And, and that kind of chakra anatomy, like sometimes you'll hear people talk about the chakras in this very mystical language. Well, in Ayurveda, we talk about the chakras as places in our body where we experience our body. Now, if I, I just sitting here talking to you, I can experience my heart. Mm-hmm. But I have very much more difficulty experiencing my pinky knuckle, Right. And so I have a center of experience around the heart, but not a big center of experience around my pinky knuckle. Now, it doesn't mean I have no experience of my pinky knuckle. It's just a smaller, more vague experience than the experience of my heart. And, um, and so that subjective anatomy that we experience um, actually is a very valuable diagnostic tool, but it's not objective in the way science is objective, and it's very difficult to measure or test it. And so it's not science. But it's not mysticism either. 